besties. Could y'all let me know down below if the audio sounds weird like right now? Because as I've mentioned before, my makeup mirror that's in front of me has a little tray that I put y'all in sometimes because it's just the most convenient place to put y'all. Why did my screen just get like way brighter? I hope it didn't do that in the video. Anyways, and I don't know if it makes the sound sound weird or not. I can't tell when I'm editing. But anyways, it's Wednesday and I'm about to post a new giveaway on my Instagram, my Green Mama Instagram. And I want to go live on there before I post it, hang out with the besties on and still see what everyone's up to. Ugh, I just realized I forgot to put my eye cream on and I like to do that before my moisturizer. Whatever, I'm still gonna put it on. And I can't put my toner on today because I ran out of my reusable makeup wipe things well not like ran out but they're all dirty and i need to wash them and i think i honestly need to just buy a new set of them off of amazon because i definitely had more when i first got them and i've lost some <laughs> so they only last me like five days out of the week and i don't have them for the other days and then i can't put on my toner because that's what i used to put on my toner i feel like some people put their toner on with their hands or maybe that's their serum i don't know but i think that would just feel gross to me because it's kind of sticky it has to be people's serum <laughs> but yeah having a pretty low-key easy day today i filmed two videos yesterday which i usually don't do i feel like a lot of content creators will have like a content filming day where they get a bunch of content filmed and out of the way and i do really like the idea of that but it's kind of hard for me to do that for my main like green mama channel and for my green mama instagram and stuff like that since it does require a certain type of plant that i don't necessarily want to be using all day every day usually if i film one video for that channel i'm just good for the day i'm like all right <laughs> i'm good but yesterday i just powered through and i filmed two back to back and i feel really good about it because now i have two videos that i can edit and i don't feel like i have to film because i don't like filming every day mainly for like my green mama channel because it can just be a lot of work. Like I don't mind vlogging every day because it's just more low key. I just don't like consuming that stuff all the way every day. <laughs> Y'all already know that though. I don't know why I'm like explaining myself right now. What am I even talking about? I don't know, but I'm gonna get dressed. Here's the OTD for the day. Very cozy. I got these champion sweats for Christmas and they're seriously my most favorite sweats right now. They're so cozy. They're just like obviously gray straight leg sweats i almost said leggings and this is probably my most worn crew neck it says university of paris on it it was my mom's and then i stole it sometime in high school or junior high and i probably wear it once or twice a week i wear it so often it's just so cozy and i just love the fit of it and how big it is it's definitely like wearing out the sleeves are kind of like falling apart and stuff but i don't care i love it but yeah i'm gonna go live on my green mama instagram for like half an hour or so and then post a giveaway on there and then we're gonna have lunch I definitely need a bagel now. <laughs> Let's go preheat the oven. So I talked about this when I went live on Instagram, but I'm not taking credit at all for these bagels. I saw on TikTok or Reels or something like that how to make these bagels and they're awesome. Literally so easy to make. I already made the dough last night and it's all risen see that so then i'm gonna take some bread flour this isn't actually the bread flour that i like to use but when i went to go to the store to get the one that i do like they were all out but it does say it works for bread and stuff like that and it's been working fine so it's whatever I'm gonna sprinkle some of this onto my baking sheet and then i'm gonna take my dough out <laughs> all right i guess this is a cutting board not a baking sheet and i'm gonna knead it a little bit and form my bagel and i don't really know how to knead i just kind of to do it like see oh my gosh i can smell the asiago cheese in it mm, look at that yumminess and now i'm gonna form my bagel that's kind of dig into the middle like a little hole and then i kind of just form the bagel around i'm not like a professional at all i'm just yellowing it i've been yellowing it for the past like two three days and i've been coming out with really good bagels i think i'm getting the hang of it like it's not perfect but look at that bagel and put it back on the 
cookie sheet with this damp rag back over it while the oven's preheating. And I have the oven preheated to 425 degrees. And hopefully I'll remember, but I'll show y'all tonight how I actually like make the bagel dough. It's so easy, oh my gosh. I'm gonna have all of y'all making bagels by the end of this video. <laughs> I think the TikTok account that I got these bagels from is Kate Davidson. That might be wrong, I'll have it linked down below. But this is so life-changing. Like I've actually been looking forward to eating breakfast, even though it's like noon. Like as soon as I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to eat my bagel. And I make some scrambled eggs and put them on top with some cheese. Oh, it's so good. Now I have to boil some water because to make it true authentic bagels, you gotta boil them first and then bake them. Ugh, I'm literally so hungry though. I need to start remembering that these kind of, not like they don't take a while to make, but I do have to wait for the oven to preheat, wait for the water to boil. And then once it's done boiling, I have to actually put it in the oven for like 25 minutes. So, <laughs> and then make my eggs, but eggs take like two minutes to make. I'm just so hungry. I don't want to wait. It's almost boiling. Also got to put some sugar in. So we're technically boiling the bagels in sugar water. You can also do honey. And I'm pretty sure the correct way to actually make bagels is to use malt syrup instead of sugar. I haven't seen it in stores, so I think I might just order that online. But that's like the proper way to make bagels, I'm pretty sure. If there's any professional bagel makers out there, let me know your tips and tricks. Or just any lovers of bagels out there. Oh my god, I'm getting sugar all over the place. Or just any lovers of bagels out there, let me know like your favorite way to eat bagels, your favorite type of bagels. Obviously getting on a bagel kick. <laughs> a little extra just for good luck. So now I'm gonna take my bagel and just plop it in for one minute on each side. And your bagel should float too. Like mine's just floating on top of there. I'll show you. Look at my happy little bagel. She's so cute. Like I said, one minute on each side too. So after a minute, it's gonna get flipped over. Not gonna lie, I'm not sure that I've exactly mastered taking out the bagel from the water onto the pan because it is kind of like soft still. I'm getting better at it though. This is only like my Sixth bagel I've made, I think. Let's get you out of there. Whew. All right, now I'm gonna take my cheese grater and get my Asiago cheese. And I'm just gonna grate it on top of my bagel before I put it in the oven so that it has all of this nice Asiago cheese on top. I want a lot on there. <laughs> oh my God, so good. Look at that amazingness. So now we're gonna put it in the oven for 25 minutes. Oh my God, there's sugar all over. <laughs> and then once the bagel's done, I'm gonna take it out and start making my eggs and have the best lunch ever. Are you kidding me right now? Like, oh, look at that amazingness. Oh my God, that melted cheese in there. Whew. I'm gonna make my eggs really fast so that I can have them on my bagel. So excited to eat. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sore from going to the gym though. That hurt. Can't remember if I mentioned this or not, but I started going to the gym again this week and oh, I am so sore. Oh, so good. I'm gonna chop this baby open. Oh my god, so good. Look at that. I'm just gonna put my eggs on top. Of course, my phone died while I was trying to show y'all the last little pieces of my bagel. But let me show y'all how good it looks. I just put my eggs and cheese on top and oh, so good. Look at how good and amazing it is. Oh my God. Like this is seriously just the best thing in the whole entire world. Are you kidding me? I'm watching the season finale of season 14 of Drag Race. I'm trying to catch up because there's a new season on right now. So I'm just watching that while I eat. Tyra, you have done yourself, your parents, and Sparta, Georgia. Very proud. Yeah. Sound off. You Got to keep a happy rat tea in the gym bag. 
I even out yet, wait, how she even get that? Yeah, that's what your friends say, let this be from they say I might take little mama to Bahama for the vacay Start the guala every time a celebration Do you never doubt it, always thought that I'd taste it Holla, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, we gon' make it Make it, drop, slow, ride through the city with a sweep Oh my gosh, I am so sore. My mom and I went to the gym again today and oh, I probably should not have done anything <laughs> besides maybe just walking on the treadmill or something like that because I am literally dying. I'm so sore, Callie. I mean, I did walk on the treadmill for a little bit, but I also did lift and I probably should not have done that. Definitely just gonna do some cardio tomorrow. Oh my gosh, do y'all see Chino's little paws hanging off of the bed? <laughs> It's now the end of the day though, so I have to go prepare my bagels for tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna show y'all how I do that, sort of. Again, not taking credit for this at all. Just wanna share with y'all my new found interest. <laughs> and then maybe we can all be making bagels together. I'm actually gonna make two because my boyfriend said he also wants one in the morning. And I know I could just double the recipe, but just for my own brain and everything, I'm gonna make two separate batches because the recipe is for one singular bagel oh so let's get up and do that because like, like this is making me nauseous look at this spoiled cat <laughs> and why is he so ginormous like look at my hand hey giving you pets okay you don't get pits now there's flour all over the counter the dishwasher is going right now so i'm sorry if it's really loud and y'all can hear it but we're gonna make our bagels okay you should use a measuring cup but it's in the washer so we're gonna use this ridiculously large bowl i'll put the ingredients list somewhere so y'all can see it but it's literally like four things you need a quarter cup of water and then heat the water up for like 15 seconds so it's warm but like not hot Okay, now half a teaspoon of active dry yeast and then half a teaspoon of sugar. Mix that up a little bit and then you want this to get to like a foamy consistency. Like you see that? That's not really what we want. But give it like two to three minutes. That, that is more what we want. See how it's all kind of weird? <laughs> Looks so appetizing. Okay, so now we're gonna take bread flour and like I said earlier, this isn't the bread flour that I would prefer to be using. I prefer to be using like the king's bread flour, I think it is. But this is what we got. I'm gonna take half a cup of flour and put it in there. And then give it an ester. And it'll very quickly start to become this sticky, doughy consistency. See that? And I am making an Asiago bagel, so I'm gonna get my Asiago cheese. Oh, now that I think about it, my cheese grater is in the dishwasher. And honestly, I'm not really sure that the Asiago cheese really makes a difference, like, actually in the dough. As you guys saw earlier, I, like, sprinkle it on top, and that definitely makes a difference. It tastes so good, like, on the crust. So I think I'm actually not gonna sprinkle it into the dough this time and see, like, if it tastes different. And if it does, then I'll be sure to keep adding in the Asiago cheese into the dough. But for now, I'm not gonna do that. But if you were to want to do that, I would do that right now. Grate some cheese into your dough. All right, now I'm gonna put this out just because my counters aren't clean. Put some flour down. So now I'm gonna knead my dough. And you basically just keep adding flour until it's not like sticky, like it was sticky in my hands before, as you can see, but now it's not. And I'm actually gonna put in some salt. I think this just makes it taste a little better. I don't really know how much I add. I just kinda yolo it. All right, got my dough all kneaded up. So now I'm gonna take some oil and a bowl and kinda just pour some in there. Oh, that was kind of a lot. Oh, well. And put the dough in here and just kind of, oh my gosh, I just splashed that. <laughs> kind of just move it around in there, coat it up so that when it rises, it doesn't stick on to the sides. I might have added too much this time, but oh well, I'll see you in the morning. And that's what it looks like in there, all oiled up. Then I'm gonna take a towel and just dampen this. Soak it in water and wring it out. And I'm just gonna use this to cover up our dough. And then I'm gonna leave this to sit in the fridge overnight. And then in the morning, it'll be all risen and then I can knead it, boil it and bake it as you guys saw me do this morning. So yeah, it's as simple as that. I'm gonna make my boyfriend's bagel now.
and that's how I make bagels. <laughs> Literally so easy and definitely my new obsession. Let me know down below if y'all try making some bagels and like I said, let me know y'all's like favorite type of bagels and like bagel combos and stuff like that. I need to clean up this kitchen though because I also made some cookie dough earlier. <laughs> I just wanted a snack.